Morning guys. Uh, so if you guys remember the last video we did, which we will put up here, one of these places, finding snow on the Matrisburg Mountains, Garth and I were so super impressed with the Kia Sportage, we decided to get together today and do some content about the vehicle and about what it's like to use that vehicle as a creator, putting our gear in it, taking us to our jobs, our shoots, being the big guy in the team, I'm going to focus on the space of the vehicle and what, what, how much space there is, which is amazing for such a small range SUV. Garth's going to focus on the drive and what it's like to drive the vehicle and all the other little gadgets and nifties that it has, like being able to have your phone attached to it, Bluetooth, all those kinds of things. And by the time you finish this video, you should have a better understanding of the Kia Sportage or laugh your ass off at us trying to do a car review. Now, if you want to know why I'm wearing this particular beautiful piece of apparel, it's because today uh, the, the Rugby World Cup started yesterday, 2019 in Japan. Uh, Japan beat uh, Russia. Today the Springboks, the South African rugby team, are playing against the New Zealand All Blacks uh, at about quarter to 12 is kickoff time. I'm super stoked, super excited, big rugby fan. But before we do that, let's talk a little bit about the car. Right, so as a creator, what you do need is you need boot space. We always need to have gear. We've got tripods, we've got cameras, we've got monopods, we've got lighting, we've got you name it, we've got it. Do we use it all? No, we don't. But we need to take it all with us. Are we going to use it? No, we're not. But we still need to take it all with us because you never know what might happen. And, uh, and there's a lot of stuff in here that never gets used, but it comes along with us, right? So we need the space in the car. This boot has got massive space. You can even fit a body in there if you need to, if the model upsets you and you need to just sort her out quickly and just over the head uh, or the talent just misbehaves, you can hide the bodies in with the bags. There's a nice pull-out thing that can hide your gear. We live in South Africa. Everything gets stolen all the time. They'll steal you if you stand still too long. So we have this to cover it. So when the boot's closed, nobody knows our gear's in there. Perfect. regular thick guy I need space leg room tummy room I need all the room the back seat of this car is surprisingly large I have a good six inches from my knees to the driver's seat although it is Garth's car and he's about two bricks and a Mari biscuit tall so um, so the driver's seat is quite far forward but I have plenty of leg room I feel comfortable here I definitely feel like I could spend it dogs definitely feel like I could spend a lot of time here uh, on a long drive the seats are comfortable very little chance of sweaty crack. Everything's everything's good here. So backseat room space, thumbs up. Sportage. Jason and I are doing this review in this car, right? Now it's my car, and I thought this is a perfect car to do a review. Jason and I thought, okay, let's do it, let's do it. So I'm a short shit, right? I can raise the seat. Check. I'm actually going up. Okay, slowly. But it works well. It works really well. And uh, plenty, of, plenty of leg room. Plenty, plenty of leg room. And me and Jason, you know he's a big guy. He's got plenty of leg room. Nice headroom, because I mean, it's nice my hairdo. I've got nothing to worry about. But for a guy with a bit of a hairdo, yeah, there's plenty of space. But anyway, I'm loving this car. Nice. The fuel economy is great. I get about 10, 11 k's a litre. It's an all-wheel drive. You can remember that, guys. It's not a two-wheel drive. It's an all-wheel drive. I mean, you must check the next video there in the link. There, Matrisburg Mountain Range. We went insanely far with this thing. It was absolutely incredible. I couldn't believe it. Jace and I were blown away. Jace was blown away, like incredibly blown away. Anyway, but the car's got Bluetooth. It's got um, automatic climate control. Um, 
yeah, you got steer, you got steering column, which has got all your loud, your your your, your speaker volume, your Bluetooth control, your cruise control, which is great. I use that all the time. But in general, it's just a great car. It's comfortable. It's smooth. Man, I love it. I love it. So guys, that's our take on the Kia Sportage 2014 and what it's still like in 2019. I'm super blown away with this car. I know that Garth loves his car. Um, and as a creator's car, and a content creator's car, it's uh, it's been really good to us. We thoroughly enjoy our little missions we go on on a Saturday. And, uh, and I know that uh, you don't get to drive it every day because now you have a company van, truck. Yeah, but, um, yeah truck, I like that. Truck. But you miss driving it on a daily basis. Oh yeah, man, it's an awesome car to drive, man. It's just all my gear fits at the back because we're actually filming from the back of the car right now. But uh, I love my car. I don't know what else to say. It's just an amazing car. So if you guys are looking for a vehicle as a content creator, one that's uh, uh, just comfortable to drive around in, hit the road early morning to reach those sunset sunrise shots and, and know that you're going to be safe and feel safe. I feel super safe in this car. It's yeah. got like a really solid feel to it. Uh, you know, if we go into a shop and we leave all our gear in the boot, I feel like it's not going to be that easy for people to true, break into true, true. Uh, whether whether it's the South case Africa. yeah but whether South it's Africa. the case or not it's just how the car makes me feel yeah. it feels chunky it feels safe um you know driving it it's a great car to drive really comfortable responsive uh, you're not going to be breaking any world speed records with it no. but that's not the point of an all-wheel drive uh, mini suv what is the is it a mini suv well it's a miniature suv it's a small it's but what a small is the what is the class called uh suv that's all i can say I, I we're not car re <laughs> review not, guys. Clearly, we're not car review guys. But but anyway, look at yeah, the mini. S it's a mini SUV, so it's a very small SUV, all-wheel drive. But it gets me. It gets up, got us everywhere. It gets me everywhere. Not just climbing pavements. I actually got up a serious mountain here in Cape Town called Matrusburg. It's incredible. We'll, I mean, we'll, we'll link. I think we've linked that video in already. We'll look it again. Uh, and and there are comments on the video where you see that they they, they know Land Rovers that can't get up there. Yeah. Um, and this so made it. this made it up there. I think the car's pretty light. My daughter's busy breaking rocks with her feet. Uh, and she came to help us film today. Thank you, Riley, for all your help today. <laughs> um, and, and that's it. I think we're going to leave it there. Guys, if you enjoy the video, please like. Subscribe. And add a comment and tell yeah. us tell us what you think about it. We're not going to go around reviewing a whole lot of cars. Don't worry. We won't turn into a car channel. But if there's anything you'd like to see us do, uh, apart from fuck off, then, uh, <laughs> then let us know. <laughs> All right, have a great day. Cheers, guys. Cheers.